What's up everybody, Chris Neal back here again with another disc review for you. Today we're going to be looking at the FX2 Air from Prodigy. Um, it has a flight numbers of 94, negative 13. Uh, it is, this one is 164 grams and it is obviously in the, uh, the Air Spectrum plastic. Um, I'll show you the profile and let you look at that. All right, so the first thing you'll notice about the uh, FX2 Air is for one, the stamp, it's not a stock stamp. Um, it's actually the uh, Batman stamp from Dutch Napier. He's on Team Prodigy, he's one of my friends. Great guy and just phenomenal player. He's out of Owensboro, Kentucky. I'm gonna put a link to his um, Instagram and all that stuff in the description. Please check him out and support him. But anyway, it's also signed by him as well. So, um, but this, this disc is actually in my bag. I got two from him, one he signed, but he signed both of them, one to hang, one to throw. Uh, but I really love this disc. It, ha it feels just like a regular FX2 in your hand, but as you can see, it's pretty flimsy. The, the Air Spectrum plastic's really soft. Um, so, and I've also noticed, you know, it's definitely nowhere near as uh, beefy as a regular FX2. It almost flies like an FX2 that you've had for a few months, you've kind of beat in a little bit. It flies like that brand new. I've had this for, a couple of months um, so it's got a little bit of wear on it but nothing nothing major I haven't seen it change anything from when I first got it so anyway we're gonna go out we're gonna do the uh, six throws three backhand three forehand all three angles and show you what the FX2 air will do Okay, threw it on hyzer. Uh, as you can see, it just held the hyzer line the whole time, faded pretty hard to the left. The difference in this air spectrum, FX2 and a regular FX2, is this will push farther forward before it does that dump. You still get that predictable finish at the end. Uh, so now let's go with uh, flat. All right, so threw it flat, slight turn out of it, not much, maybe just a little, and then that predictable fade left. So now we're going to do Anheuser. All right, threw it on Andy. It held that turn for a long time, but you see at the end, it definitely tries to fight back when it slows down. I put that on a severe Anheuser as well. Um, out of your hand, if you just put on just a little Andy, it'll kind of just hold that turn and then really hook hard left. So there's so many different angles you can put this on. So now we're gonna go to forehand and we'll do Heiser first. All right, forehand hyzer, I put it out there, just held the hyzer line, dumped off right real hard when it was slowing down. If you got more power than me forehand, you can definitely get way more distance out of it. So now let's throw it flat. All right, forehand flat, it just kind of held straight, maybe a slight turn, just like the backhand. That could have also been just from just a little bit of a wrist row at the end, but still it kind of went, it did its thing. As it's slowing down, it finishes right. Now I did get that up a little higher than I wanted to, but um, one another thing I need to mention on this, cause it's not really showing on here, but if you get the, get the right hit on the ground, you get a pretty good skip. So if you're ever in the woods or something, you need something to just hit the ground and skip, uh, really good disc for it. So now let's go Anheuser forehand, which is what I use this disc a lot for. All right, 
Anheuser forehand, I put it out, it just held that Anheuser until it started slowing down, then worked its way back to the right. So very predictable disc, has a very predictable fade. Like I said, it's like a beat in regular FX2 and 400 to 500 plastic. So if you got that FX2 that you beat in just to perfection and you lose it, this right here would almost instantly replace it. So again, shout out Dutch Napier, the Batman, link in the description for his Instagram. He probably still has some of these left, so you can probably shoot him a direct message. And if so, you can work something out and uh, buy, buy a few from him uh, for you to throw. But just the regular FX2 Air Spectrum with the stock stamp on it, projudisc.com. And as always, check out foundationdisc.com. Foundation Until next week, get out and have fun throwing your discs.